Orlando and Winter Haven, Florida law firm Bloodworth Law is a U.S. News & World Report best law firm in commercial litigation. Managing partner attorney L. Reed Bloodworth is a U.S. News & World Report best lawyer in commercial litigation. Reed and the Bloodworth Law team handle fraudulent misrepresentation cases for clients across the state. What is fraudulent misrepresentation? An example of fraudulent misrepresentation is when one party is negotiating with another party to enter into a contract to buy a business, but party number one says things that are not true to party number two in an effort to get party number two to enter into a contract with them to buy the business. Party number two later discovers that these things are untrue, and party number one can't perform according to the contract. Party number two would sue party number one for a fraudulent misrepresentation related to the statements that he or she had made before the contract was entered into. Florida recognizes separate theories of recovery for damage occurring as a result of misrepresentation. One basis of recovery is for intentional fraudulent misrepresentation because technically fraud is intentional and the other is for negligent misrepresentation. In other words, under Florida law, a party may be liable for misrepresenting a material fact even if the misrepresentation was a mistake instead of intentional. Florida has four elements that must be proven in order for a plaintiff to be successful in asserting fraudulent misrepresentation as a claim and a lawsuit. The first element is that the person committing the fraud makes a statement about a certain fact. The second element is that person knows his or her statement is false. And third, the purpose for which a person is making that false statement is to get someone else to rely on that statement, usually for financial gain. Finally, because of the reliance upon that statement, the plaintiff was injured financially. Not every false statement can lead to a claim of fraudulent misrepresentation. The statement must be about a material fact. A fact is considered material when it plays an essential role in the decision-making of an individual. There must be detailed, factual evidence to support each of the four elements of the claim. An example of fraudulent misrepresentation could include probate fraudulent misrepresentation when an interested party has a claim. However, to substantiate the claim, a plaintiff must be able to provide detailed, factual evidence to satisfy each of the four elements of fraudulent misrepresentation. Situations where a fraudulent misrepresentation may occur. Power of attorney abuse. Executor or trustee fraud. Formal accountings. Undue influence, coercion, or fraud in the creation of a trust or will. Will contests and administer appointment hearings. If you believe that someone has misrepresented information at any stage of the probate process or in the creation of a will or trust or in a business or real estate contract, you should contact a probate or a business attorney. In any legal dispute, don't try to handle it alone because you may make a bad situation worse. Talk with Reed and find out how Bloodworth Law can help you, your family, or your business.